If you want something to hope in, all you got to do is open up the Bible and read about the hundreds of promises that God has made to his children that are ours to claim. He also speaks personal promises over our lives individually as his children who he loves individually and uniquely. There are personal promises that he's made over my life. There's personal promises that he's made over your life, whether you know them or not. There's personal promises that he has over each and every believer's life. But we sometimes get discouraged when the promises aren't coming to pass and we think that there might be there's a delay that we're doing something wrong that we're not obeying God enough or we're not doing the right things or it's taking too long or we have to go and make the way on our own or there's just something more that we have to do to move God's hand um and not realize that what's actually going on is that we're in a wilderness season. Um, I, I just I've gone and shared about this story in the in, in the Bible like a lot on this page, but um, it's just been very personal and relevant to me recently. The Israelites didn't get to the Promised Land simply because they were not ready. The delay was from God, because if He had given them and led them into the Promised Land, they would have been killed by the giants. They wouldn't have been prepared. Um, Joseph and Caleb wouldn't even have been alive to lead them. Um, there's so many more reasons that they just weren't ready for it yet. God was preparing them in the wilderness. And the ways that we're prepared in the wilderness is primarily the number one most important reason, the number one and most important way that we are prepared in, in the wilderness is through presence, just meeting God in prayer, spending time with him, learning to hear his voice, Learning to know what his whisper sounds like. Um, in 1 Kings 19, when Elijah um, ran away into the wilderness out of fear, God led him into a cave and uh, he passed by the cave. There was a violent wind. There was an earthquake. There was a firestorm. But God's voice wasn't in any of those. His voice was in a close whisper because God is close and near to us and he wants us to know that. But we can't learn to hear his voice unless we spend time with him. And the wilderness is a great place to learn that, to learn his voice and learn what he sounds like, to hear him, to be with him, be close to him, because there are no distractions. We don't have the outside world, people telling us to do this and that and being confused, which is why fasting is extremely important, because it blocks off distractions. We set ourselves apart, we consecrate ourselves to just be with God and hear his voice. So if you feel like a promise of yours that God has placed over your life um, is being delayed, know that it's because it's God's will for it to be delayed at that time. You're either not prepared for it. There's also times where the enemy tries to steal promises. And that's also ultimately a matter of just spending time with God. Because if you're in his presence, then he'll tell you and you'll be aware. Like, okay, this is a time for war in prayer. Um, to, like, not that you shouldn't any other time. But to pick up your word and war against um, not flesh and blood, but spirits, principalities things that we can't see in the supernatural world um, and pray and contend against those things and petition God for them. Um, there are times where I, I believe uh, one king's name is Jehoshaphat when this uh, king was coming against uh, Israel or it might have been Judah um, for war. Um, Jehoshaphat knew that or whatever king it was knew that they couldn't. It happened a bunch of times but he knew that uh, he couldn't, a bunch of times with a bunch of different kings, but he knew that he could not, like the, the army wasn't enough to stand up against the, um, the people who were coming against him. So what did he do? He prayed. They didn't fight. They didn't have to lift a sword. They didn't do anything. They just worshiped. And God defeated their enemies for them. But we have to meet God in the place of prayer. So if you, again, if you feel like you're in a place of wilderness, preparation, testing, know that it's because God has you there for a purpose because he wants you to grow closer to him and draw closer to him before he allows you into what into the territory, into the land that he's going to give you um, so that you can be able to handle it, that you have the character to steward it, that you have the heart to steward it, that you have the just desire and hunger for him to go to him even when everything's all good. Um, I pray that that encourage you, encourages you this morning or whenever you're watching this. In Jesus' name, amen.